appreciate our fans. Uh, big time shout out to volleyball. Uh, really excited to, to see them advance to the Sweet 16. And so um, just want to give them a shout out. Um, just, you know, I thought um, the, the ability to go deep into our bench again today was really important. And I know sometimes it's hard as players, but I think the wear and tear uh, that goes on throughout the course of the season, it's so important um, right now to be able to use your depth when you can. And, you know, I thought Demila had some really good minutes for us. So that was, that was great to see for her. Um, I thought for the most part, Defensively, um, you know, we saw a lot of really good things. We got to get a little bit quicker out of our rotations, but for the most part, I thought uh, we did a really nice job from that standpoint. Good to see Angie, um, you know, kind of rack up some of those boards. Uh, she, I think she's got the ability to be an elite level rebounder for us, and so it was good to see her kind of get into a rhythm a little bit there too. Yeah, you know, I think a lot of times it's you don't get a lot of credit for, you know, just I, I think the um, continued tenacity on the ball. Like I think of uh, Naya and um, she came up with two steals for us, but she's a young lady that's just relentless in her pursuit. And, you know, just the wear and tear that she puts on other teams, you know, ability to bring the ball at the court. Um, I, I think all of our perimeter players have the ability to do that. And um, at the end of the day, we want to be able to hang our hat on that. And I think we've, we've grown a lot in that area, but maybe not at the level that I think there's still room for more growth. And I thought we were a little bit slow to a couple 50-50 balls. And, you know, it's hard as a player, you think, golly, we're up 25, up 30, coach. But, um, you know, we want to play at a certain level, uh, a certain standard. And so I think there were some, some missed opportunities out there, but some really, really good stretches as well. Coach, uh, your team pulled a, uh, started scoring more in the second quarter. Uh, what stood out to you in that quarter? Yeah, I just think, you know, we've got uh, a lot of players that have the ability to create shots for themselves, but also just the unselfish play and um, really trying to be mindful of the small gaps and, um, you know, maybe pass up on a good shot for a great shot. And that ball movement can be so key. I think our defense created some offense for us, which is always nice to be able to get out and play in the full court. Uh, you transition something we continue to hone in on for our team. I think we've got the ability to, to play fast, which is, I think always a good look for us, um, but really just our ball movement. We ended up with 16 assists tonight. Um, again, I think that's a pretty solid number for us. Coach, um, Angie seemed really aggressive tonight, both offensively like hunting her own shot and as well in the glass, but she, she had zero fouls. So um, what did you like that you saw from her? Yeah, I told her I'd buy her a pack of gum if she's played more than 10 to you know 11 minutes without getting into foul trouble. Um, but. You know, really, to be honest with you, I, I know it's been so frustrating for her. You know, she's she's a strong young lady. She's explosive. She's powerful, and just trying to understand, you know, how to how to post without using too much of her upper body, and and still being aggressive and physical, and using her athleticism. So it's been a little bit frustrating at times for her. Um, but at the same time, we know it's there. She did sit out for a year, and so even though she's had a number of practices under her belt, it's still different when the lights are on. And so, you know, we, we knew it was just going to be a matter of time for her. Um, and I think, you know, she's such a huge part of what we do and has the ability to score at a, at a high clip around the rim. Uh, but also her rebounding to me is something that should just be a staple night in and night out. And it was great to see her have such a good game. Ashton, this is your fourth consecutive game in double-digit scoring. Um, feels like you've really turned a corner starting at Wichita State. Have you been able to feel that? What's it says, Has the last couple games felt any different for you? Um, no, I think just trying to let um, the game come to me, not trying to force anything. Uh, just going off of co what Coach P said, I felt like um, we just really got after it this game and we let our defense uh, kind of motivate and push our offense, you know, getting out in transition. Um, converting the steals that we had. So um, I also think just the biggest thing in this game was just, you know, not throwing in the towel at halftime. Uh, Got to give credit to NIU and just, you know, I think they played um, they played a good game and just going into halftime, uh, trying to make sure that we came out with a good defensive pressure, um, making sure that we didn't just throw the talent and throw the game away, so. Ashton, uh, you talked about defense uh, and kind of getting after it. What moments stood out to you from today's game? 
Uh, I think the biggest moment that stood out to me was Naya. Um, Coach P touched on it, but just the ability that she has to apply pressure in the full court, uh, 94 feet from the basket. You know, she's got a motor and she does so much for our team. And then I think she had a, an offensive a charge that she drew in the full court, which charges are hard in the half court. So for her to be able to do that and just bring the energy for our team, I think that was, she was the biggest player that stood out to me. Lanai, how did it feel to be back into the starting lineup and especially contribute as much as you did to the team today? Mm, I mean, it felt good. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it, it felt good to start out the game, you know, come out from the jump and just have the energy to bring to the team. I don't know. Coach, um, three-point shooting clearly an emphasis today. Finished 14 of 28s. Um, do you feel that three-pointing is definitely a strength for this team, and how is this going to affect this team heading into SEC play? I mean, it's, you know, we want to play inside out. Uh, you know, I, I'm more concerned about the times that we miss our post players than how many threes that we make. Uh, I think we've got a lot of very skilled perimeter players that have the ability to to score off the bounce. Uh, so when we talk about playing inside out, it's you know not only with a post feed, but off the bounce and attacking the rim. Um, and we feel like if we do that, those the three ball will open up for us. And uh, we've got capable um, you know players that are capable of knocking down shots for us. But the infants, the emphasis isn't necessarily hunting the three. Uh, it's really hunting uh, great shots for our team. And that can come in a bunch of different, you know, ways. And so, want to get to the free throw line, want to attack inside out, and be able to get rhythm threes. And again, a lot of young ladies that put in a lot of time uh, outside of what's required, really up and down our roster. And so they worked hard to, you know, shoot it at a high clip. And, and um, I think we've got a number of players on any given night that can knock down those shots for us. Tobila Brown had three threes today. What's it like to have someone with that much experience coming off so deep off your bench? Yeah, it's so big. You know, she hasn't played for a couple years, and so, you know, just getting out there again, just kind of getting into her flow a little bit, you know, it's we got a deep roster. You know, and, and to get everybody minutes is really challenging. And so uh, sometimes it's not maybe about what you're doing, but what somebody else is doing. And so anytime we can continue to get her out there, I think it's really important. She's got the ability to score. Uh, she is a scorer. She can knock down the three, but she can also go off the bounce. Uh, and like you said, she's got a lot of experience under her belt. So I was really proud of her tonight. I thought she, you know, uh, was ready when her number was called, had some really, really good minutes. And in my opinion, as a coach, that's how you, um, you know, get extended minutes that next opportunity. Coach, uh, your team, this is a fourth straight game uh, with a win. Uh, what has stood out to you over these past four games? You know, really, it's just um, staying present. You know, we don't really look back at, at the, we just want to learn and grow, win or lose. Uh, we want to trust the process. Um, you know, we know that, you know, uh, from every game, win or lose, there's things that we've done well and things that we got to get better at. But uh, I just think the team is getting more comfortable. I think Naya talked about that um, in our last press conference, just the we over me mentality. And it's, it's hard, right? Everybody puts in time. Everybody works. Everybody's been uh, relentless in their pursuit and trying to get in the gym and work on their craft. And so it's a hard thing to do. But I do think uh, as our team continues to grow and, and has more experience together, we continue to understand what that looks like and what it needs to look like. And, you know, you, you understand that that's how we're going to be able to be our very best as we go through a, a grueling SEC um, conference. So I, I just think it's them being more familiar with each other and getting more reps together. Coach, the last few games, um, it's felt like you guys have played with a really high pace and intensity. Um, how much of an emphasis is it to kind of make sure that other teams are playing on Mizzou's terms and at your pace? Something we talk about a lot. I mean, we just really want um, to be disruptive on the defensive end, which is so cool to say because, you know, defense travels and how you show up. And, you know, and that's why we talked about it at halftime. There was just some 50 50 balls that I thought we could have been a little bit more aggressive to. Uh, we don't want to play the scoreboard, win or lose. You don't play the scoreboard, you just play uh, to the level that you're capable of playing. And so uh, just that grittiness, that toughness. Um, it's something that we talk a lot about, and uh, I know that's how they practice. Sometimes I think they practice harder than what they play, and so which is a good thing as a coach because practices are so competitive. Uh, but want to make sure that when the lights go on, that you know they bring that same kind of energy. And I think for the most part, um, other than a couple hiccups this year, we've done a pretty good job with that. 
Um, for Lenai and I and Ashton, so far you guys have played 12 games. It's the most in Division One. What's this kind of stretch been like physically playing game after game to start the season? You want to start? Mm -hmm. right, you want to? <laughs> I mean, all I can say is, <laughs> no. I mean, it, it's been a lot on our bodies and stuff like that, but I mean, we got good trainers and stuff that get us right. So, I mean, yeah. We just got to keep pushing, though. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree. I also think that, um, you know, our strength and conditioning coach, uh, Tyler, has done a great job in the preseason of just mm -hmm. Uh, not only trying to prepare our bodies, but um, making sure that we're like getting right in the weight room. He takes days off, like letting us stretch, letting us roll out, like making mm -hmm. sure that our bodies are where they need to be so that um, we can perform at the highest level. And, you know, the coaches take care of us too, like practices, like they're making sure that our bodies are right and mm -hmm. accommodating to the amount of games that we're playing. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> did somebody record that? <laughs> Not um, too much. And then for you, Coach, um, now you've got a week off. What's going to be the biggest point of emphasis with this kind of extended break that you guys have without games? Yeah, I think it's really important. We just kind of recenter. You know, there's these girls have worked so hard. There's a lot of emotion that goes into every day, uh, every just every practice, everything we do, film session, whatnot. We need to make sure we carve out space for them to take care of their academics um, first and foremost. And then uh, after that, you know, just breaking down some film and tweaking some things on the offensive end. How do we get better? How do we get more better reads? You know, there's some things from our out of bounds plays that I think we can execute better. Um, our rotations after, you know, we're creating some, some havoc in the full court and rotations out of there. So just, you know, constant opportunities to tweak things and improve things and build on things. So uh, first things first, though, it'll be a good couple day break for them. Um, and then uh, looking forward to getting back after it on Wednesday. We'll take one or two more if you guys have them. Uh, Coach, uh, it was brought up about Judd's performance the past four games. What has stood out to you? those four games yeah you know she's worked really hard um like all of them have and i think a lot of times when you work that hard and you put in that much time uh outside of what's required uh, there's a certain amount of you have expectations of yourself you put a little extra pressure on yourself more than what you realize at times because you want it so bad and uh at some point you just got to take a deep breath and exhale and just keep it really simple and sometimes less is more um, and that's hard to do as, as athletes that are so driven, you know, it's really hard to do. Um, and it takes great self-awareness. And so to be able to like just take that deep breath and exhale and understand it's a marathon, not a sprint. Um, it, it just, uh, I think it takes great maturity and I think she's handled it in a really, really positive way. Awesome. Ashton, uh, kind of flipping that last question actually, what are you most proud of in terms of your play um, today? Um, I would say just my mental space. You know, it was kind of a hard uh, start to the year. Just I put a lot of pressure on myself, and I have high expectations, as I'm sure everybody on our team does. So I think just being able to, like Coach P said, take a deep breath and um, just let the game come to me, you know, be where I need to be on the court. Uh, yeah, I just feel like my mental space trying to – um, stay in a good, stay in a good spot, and just um, not get too high and not to get too low. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.